Hello everyone, El Pro here, and then today we get to show you guys how to bypass the activation lock on iPhones. Now this happens when you forget your Apple ID and you can't get back into your iPhone. So, in today's video, we're going to show you guys how to bypass it using CheckRing. Now, this video is uh, for educational purposes only. I don't really intend thieves to use this because this is not, you know, for that. This is if you genuinely can't get back into your iPhone. As you can see, I have a beautiful iPhone 8 right here that, you know, I can't really use for anything other than parts because it's activation lock. Well, that is until I bypass it because this bypass is untethered. There is no, um, it doesn't come back after you turn it off. Like, this does not come back after you turn it off. And it works on the majority of iPhones, iPhone 5S through iPhone X on iOS 12.3 to iOS 13.2.2. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the good old Mac, the 17-inch MacBook Pro with Mac OS Catalina now. And we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to bypass this because it's pretty crazy that you can actually do this, you know, considering this is not supposed to be bypassable. But now it's possible. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this right now. Okay, guys, back on the Mac right here. So the thing you're also going to need is you're going to need a Mac that runs at least Mac OS 10.9. So I have 10.15 here of Catalina on the poor old 17 inch MacBook that can barely record the screen. There you go. So in order to get the files you're going to need for this bypass, you're going to need to go to this website, appletech752.com slash downloads HTML. And you're going to go ahead and click on the CheckRain iCloud bypass package. Now I don't need to download it. I already have it here on my desktop, right here. It's gonna come as a zip file. You're gonna need to unzip it and go ahead and uh, take it on, put it on your desktop. And you're gonna need to install CheckRain Beta, this one, the DMG. So you're gonna need to install this and install Python. But because I already installed them, I don't need to do that. As you can see, I have it all ready right here. So that means I am good to go on the bypass. So therefore, we're going to go ahead and fire up our iPhone right here and go ahead and plug it into the computer real quick. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to plug our iPhone into the computer, so the Mac. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in. We're going to do volume up, volume down, and then we're going to push the side button for 10 seconds to enter DFU mode. So the screen goes black, push for 5 seconds, the volume down button. Let go of the side button. Should appear on the Mac soon here. There you are. So it's now on the Mac. So now we're ready to use check ring. As you can see, we just dismiss this. And then we need to open check ring. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and push start. As you can see, we have it. This is what you want to see when you go when you do check rain. As we can see, we're just waiting for our iPhone to boot back up now. So we're just gonna go ahead and set check rain aside. Then you're gonna go back to your iCloud bypass package here. You're gonna go ahead and open up this file with a Python launcher. But before you do that, go ahead and just open a normal terminal window. Then open the file. So as you can see, we have it open. So the next thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and just dismiss the preferences and then go back to your package and then here's the list of commands. So put in text editor. Here we go. And then we're going to grab our terminal windows and set them up over here. 
the next thing we need to do is we need to put these commands all in order in the same exact way that the document says. So the first window, which is the one with most, the more, most text, you need to put the first command. Push enter. As you can see, we have it ready. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and type this command into the the other window. So if it's, this is going to ask you if you want to continue connecting and then you just push yes. Type yes. Password is Alpine. And once you see that, you're going to go ahead and type these commands instead. So you push control C, command C, command V, return, and then just keep doing that for the rest of the commands. So you're just going to keep pasting all the commands. And then we're just going to put this last one in. And then we're going to wait a couple seconds. And the iPhone here should be bypassed. There we go. As you can see, easy as that. We have an iCloud bypassed iPhone. And as you can see, you have check right here if you want to install City and proceed to jailbreaking it. But there you go, guys. That is how you bypass the iCloud lock on an iPhone. As you can see, it's functional. Now, this is not a full unlock. I will go ahead and just do that disclaimer. This is not a full unlock. If you reset the phone, and it contacts Apple servers again, it will come back. So don't do it. Don't reset the phone if you want to keep your uh, functioning iPhone. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Or oh, actually, no, wait, I was kidding. You also cannot use iCloud. Uh, you can't use the sign into your iPhone unless you have a different iPhone that is not iCloud Lock and that has your account, in which case you can jailbreak both of them and then port the data from your unlocked iPhone, the one that was not originally locked, and then ported over here. I will go ahead and link a video in the description to Apple um, Apple Tech 752 where he shows you how this is done. But other than that, here you go guys, iPhone. This iPhone has had the iCloud bypass. As you can see, it is more or less a functioning phone now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please support it. And I will come up with some more tech, tech tutorials in the future, but anyways, that's it for today, peace out.